Welcome to Blockchain Simplified. Let's start with the origins of the blockchain network. In 1991, blockchain was conceptualized by two researchers, Stuart Huber and Scott Sornada. They wanted to implement a system where timestamps, which is the time an event occurs, of documents could not be tampered fault with. But, it did not gain any action, until it was reintroduced by Satoshi Nakamoto in 2008 with the conception of Bitcoin. What was it about? It was all about removing the middleman. You can see the red dot in the figure on the left representing the middleman. Okay, now, let's dive into the blockchain. What is it? It is essentially a digital ledger of transactions that is duplicated and distributed across the entire network of computer systems on the blockchain. Imagine a network of blocks linked together by chains. Here's an example of three blocks. Block 1, Block 2, and Block 3. What does each block contain? Each block contains 1 sum data, 2 hash of the main block, 3 hash of the previous block. We will dive into them now. So, what does this mean? Let's start first with the data. Data stored in the block depends on the type of blockchain it is. Each type has a different data stored. For example, the Bitcoin blockchain stores 1. The sender 2. The receiver and 3. The amount being transferred. Now let's see what's a hash. A hash is a unique identifier that is issued to recognize a block and its contents. Each block has a different hash. So the hash is unique and cannot be used by more than one block. Think of it as a name for the block. But, why is the hash of the previous block also stored? For legitimacy. If the hash of the block is changed, it means that the hash of the next block will contain a different value as compared to what the block already knows. This will nullify the transaction and stop it from taking place. Now that you know what's a blockchain, it is important that you also know what are its features. Let's start. One. It is immutable, meaning it is a permanent unalterable network. No one can add any new transaction block to the ledger without the consent of the majority of blocks. 2. It is decentralized. There are no governing authorities. It is maintained by a collection of nodes. 3. It has an enhanced security. Every piece of information has its own unique identifier. 4. It has distributed ledgers. It is a database that is shared and synchronized by a group of people across many sites, institutions and countries. It allows for public witnesses to be present during transactions. And finally, 5. It has consensus, which is a decision-making algorithm for the network's active nodes. This was a simple and easy introduction to the blockchain technology. But of course, it is much more wider than that. If the blockchain technology is something that you are interested in, and you should be, comment down below your thoughts and subscribe now for more videos.